I've already been out here. Yeah. See how it goes, what, you know, uh, about this speed. I'm Amy Sweeney from Sonamas. I play guitar at Sonamas, and over the last six months, we've been working with uh, 16 musicians of all levels with the Making Music with Sonamas, the Wicklow Teaching Residency Program that has been supported by Music Network and the Wicklow Arts Office as well. Musicians of all levels, aged 55 and over, were invited to apply, and we have been working with 16 musicians over the last six months. Then, the instruments are keyboard guitar, um, whistle and cello, which are the four instruments that we work with in Sonamas. We play a mixture of Irish music and classical music, particularly from an Irish kind of bent. So the students have been working away brilliantly in that. We've been having great fun. Any students who weren't able to access an instrument themselves were supported in this uh, by the two party music network and the, the arts office as well. And it was a wonderful opportunity for people who played music in the past to rekindle their love of music through this project. Hi everybody, so we're going to start the session now. I'd like to welcome you all to the final session. I'm sure you're all delighted to finally be together. I know that we're really, really happy to be able to end this wonderful project on such a high note. So all the participants had 10 individual lessons with the relevant member of Sonamas. That was followed then by three group sessions with each instrument and afterwards there were three ensemble sessions, the final session which is here today. Over the course of the programme there were many coffee mornings and that provided an opportunity for all the participants to socialise and to share their musical experiences. So here we are today at the last group ensemble session and everybody is really excited here. All the participants have done tremendous work and achieved so much in just such a short period of time. And we are delighted to share this live musical experience with everybody here. I recently retired. I retired in um, January 2020 and this came up just at the right time. I was really looking for a new challenge because I had been working and also um, in my previous um, career I worked in the health service with older people and I always noticed that old people as they retired and got older, the more activities they maintained and new activities they took up, it benefited their lives enormously. And I'm testament to that now because it just meant so much to me and it makes you feel still useful and just in so many levels, this has been fabulous. I learned to play a little bit of guitar about 33 years ago and I went from it, I was finding guitar difficult, I went to play some mandolin and then some fiddle which has the same tuning but with time constraints with my work and stuff like that I hadn't played in 30 years. I think playing music takes up a good bit of time you need to practice and um, I'm retired now so I uh, came across the program and I it was a dream of mine to, to return to playing music and um, it was a commitment. I had to make sure that I'd make the commitment and stick to it and that's what I've done and I'm as happy as Larry like having done that. This project has meant everything to me. My husband died and then my daughter got breast cancer. So I needed something to really fill my life, to actually take my thoughts away. And it did all that for me.
I've always wanted to be able to pick up an instrument and play something. It wasn't that I wanted to be highly skilled or do it in any way professionally, but the pleasure of being able to make some music. The last time I remember playing the tin whistle, I was 10 years of age in primary school. So when I saw Music Network advertising this, I thought, put in an application, see what happens. And I was delighted when I was then ex accepted. And yes, I got tin whistle lessons from Tim Doyle and it's been such a pleasure. The group element of music making is very important. The making of music, it keeps the brain active. It means that we're outward looking and so it creates a space for people to meet. There's mental benefits, there's the physical benefits, there's the social benefits. So it's hugely important and valuable and it's just been great fun, as well as keeping my brain ticking over because I've been learning music and I now can read music very slowly, but I'm reading music and I'm so pleased with myself. I'm having the most fantastic day and I'm so delighted to finally get together with all the orchestra and play. And it's been a fantastic programme. Today is a magic to come out here. Weather isn't great, but it doesn't matter at all. I mean, it's just, the buzz is fantastic. Well, I must say, it's, it's a great opportunity to play with other musicians uh, under the guidance of professional musicians. So it's very enjoyable altogether, yeah. My four children are all very musical, so they were really behind me in taking part in this. And they were, I think they felt really proud of their mother. And then, in turn, my mother, who is a very healthy 92-year-old, played music in her own life. So she was so proud of me for taking it up. And it made her take her violin out, and we have played a few duets. And she's determined that we are going to continue playing together. If anybody is ever offered this chance, take it, grab it, because it's just, it's just life-changing. It has reawakened music for me and I know I'm just going to keep going with it. I've already got piano lessons booked for the autumn, so I'll be going on fully with that.